well-written songs. <laughs> now, being an environmentalist, I've always had some kind of a, a foot in that camp. Never really let it go. We're still pushing as best we can. We have a government in Canada for the last eight years that has not paid much attention to our environment. We're going to change that in October. We have an election coming up in a month and a bit. And I'm pleased to say that we were the first constituency in Canada, our electoral district, to put a green in, in the federal government. Elizabeth Fay is her name. And she's smart as a whip, and she's funny, and she's, she's really sweet. And she's honest. She's, a, she's one of the first non-partisan non politicians to make it to the hill in Ottawa. It's murderous. But I digress. This is a... This is an environmental song in the micro. Stuck here in the Northland, in the ice and snow, dreaming about a southern home, wishing I could go. I know I love San Antonio, a call there on my knees, but I can't go back to Texas on account of the killer bees. And they came across the border in the spring of 92, a billion little stingers with a bad attitude. A serious genetic mix-up that nature will not fix. But they drove me out of San Antonio in the fall of 96. I went and moved up north to Waco. Didn't want to move that far. But in two years, the bees arrived and left me with these scars. I know they remember. Killer bee. 